Hey guys, we are here with Kyle Dixon and Michael Stein, the guys who brought the score to life for Stranger Things. I know. Just sitting there dead. Yeah, we just. <laughs> you resurrected we it. Threw some water on it, you know, and it's just like. It's like after, midnight. Little, uh, yeah, after midnight. After midnight. There you go. First and foremost, too, congratulations, because I know that it was just released today and is already top 10. I heard that too just now on this yeah, line. Like, I since found that out. You know, in the last 20 minutes. Which is great. That's awesome. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. So you guys have had a very busy year or two scoring for National Geographic and uh, working yeah. with Darren Aron Aronofsky doing some VR work with Spheres and yeah. the new Hulu series, Butterfly. Do you guys ever rest? Uh, we're about to. <laughs> yeah, we, we wanted to work really hard last year and then right now we're kind of feeling like we'll see how things go. Taking a little break is, <laughs> is definitely a high priority right now. Uh, so, but we'll we'll get back into something soon. So how does it work? Do you guys always work together? Do you kind of split the workload a little bit? Or what is your, your process working together to create these pieces of music? It's both. Yeah, it's I mean, both. really, it's we've got kind of a system where we'll start together, break off, do as much, like, kind of sprint and get as much as we can into an episode in, you know, like a week few days and then come back together review anything that we feel like needs to be changed or elevated or or whatever and then finalize things there but if we if we can if Michael can finish a cue by himself and I can finish a cue by myself that's us just getting things done twice as fast so that's very helpful, especially yeah. when we're up against deadlines. When we're taking on new projects, we both just, we have time where we, like, let's say we go to a meeting and we're like, feel really good about it. And then we come back and we're just like, well, we don't really know what this thing is because we don't have a script and we don't have a picture, but we kind of have a feeling. So we'll just kind of together make some stuff and that'll kind of give an idea of like what direction where our heads are at. And then we're usually apart and we just make a bunch of stuff and we put it in a folder and typically, it sounds like it belongs together close enough and you can weed out the pieces that feel like they don't belong. And then we kind of have a direction and hopefully that stuff works when the picture comes in or otherwise you gotta you could take it back to the drawing board which happens Some, a it lot. It happens, yeah. yeah. Just because you can think one thing is sounds like some music first when somebody's being chased or sad and then you put the piece of music underneath the scene and <laughs> Like, You're like, wow, that made this seem funny, and that doesn't make any like, sense. Butterfly, <laughs> everything was just like clicked, and like for Valley of the Boom, it was like we tried all these things, we just didn't really know, and then once the picture came in, we were like, oh, okay, none of this stuff we've been doing is gonna work. And we had to figure it out, like once it was already in production, rolling along. So for Stranger Things, we know there's gonna be eight episodes this season. Is there any episode in particular that you feel the score just really shines? That, I mean, you guys have, have won uh, Emmys, you've had nominations for Grammys. What, if you were to submit one episode this season to the Emmys as the, the epitome of the score, which would it be? We're gonna have to, because we're definitely gonna submit for the Emmys. I mean, I feel like it's usually the last episode, like, just because that's, you know, Always that's like... most music in the last one, and the things usually get the biggest, and then usually there's a really emotional cue in the last one, too, so... It usually ends up being the last the last one, but... Not always, I guess... We'll see. For... For the Emmys, uh, the first time around, I, actually, maybe we did do the we last one. The, oh, no, we, we either did, did the them. first one, or we... I don't know. I think we I sent the first episode, the first episode first year and then the last episode the second year. Yeah, I think, I think right. we'll probably do the Who last knows? episode I mean, again. We have to review it. I don't even We don't even know what's going to end up in there. <laughs> You're like, let's go back and see which one win won last time. They we'll can do take that stuff again. out and put stuff in and swap stuff out all they want. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll find out. Yeah. Today we'll know how the first two episodes came out. <laughs> so, have you not seen it with the, the well, score in until now? I mean, There's mostly, some final yeah. tweaks that happen at yeah. the end. Anything can happen until it's out. I mean, who knows? Something can happen between tonight and next Friday or <laughs> Thursday, I guess. You never know until it's actually out there. But generally speaking, we've we've seen the show. I mean, yeah, we've seen the show. <laughs> so will part of your little break here be kind of getting back into your band Survive as well? Yes, actually, that's we started. Uh, we started doing that, which is great. We, we have a 
enough songs or more than enough songs started for the next album but we just need to develop them a little more and we've begun that process and hopefully we can finish that up before the close of this year so it can come out next year so yeah that's kind of yeah that'll be that's the only real thing other than like having a little bit of rest and <laughs> maybe a vacation gonna, that, that we've got and then we're just gonna feel out Damn. finding another project that feels really natural for us well having worked with the duffer brothers and with darren aronofsky do you have any kind of dream collaborations that you would like in the future uh, like a lot of them but yeah, I, don't I, I don't shit um <laughs> It'd be fun to work on like a full, you know, feature film with them, or something eventually. But um, are we talking to music? I missed the beginning of that because the we're talking about the, uh, just people to work with collaborations. Like directors or oh, but like directors wise. Yeah, there's the <laughs> there's definitely people. Yeah, <laughs> there's people who've pretty much been hitting home runs. A lot of A24. I really liked the. I really liked Annihilation, and I didn't get as much love as I thought it should have. Um, and just like a like a hard sci-fi like that, I think would be really fun to do. It's not so rooted in like I don't know space or, or like spaceships as much and more just kind of like about a weird like I don't know I thought that was a really cool one I don't know why but I keep hearing this like experimental like crime noir oh, yeah, sound like songs. sci-fi thing and I don't know why but I'm like I there's this we're gonna write the score then we're gonna write the movie and direct it <laughs> okay. I like that I like that <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much and congratulations again. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice talking to you.